Hey everybody, it's Emily back with another Grass River micro class and today I'm so excited because I'm going to introduce you guys to one of my favorite nature topics, tracking. And specifically we're going to talk about how to differentiate between dog and coyote tracks, which are which is one of the most common points of confusion, I think. So I love tracking for a couple of reasons. One, it gets you connected to your local landscape, gets you looking around on the ground, crawling through bushes, that sort of thing. Um, but it also, you know, allows you a window into the world of wildlife species that are nocturnal or elusive or cryptic that you don't see very often. Um, and then lastly, why I love it, why tracking was a game changer for me really, is because it gets me outside in winter. Um, I am not necessarily a lover of winter, but tracking made me love winter because snow is such a great medium to preserve tracks. I always say that the snow keeps no secrets in terms of animal activity. Okay, so coyote versus dog tracks. I think the reason people get them confused sometimes is because there are a lot of similarities between them. Um, they're obviously both in the canine family, so that means they have four toes um, and their tracks will have claws. The claws will register in the tracks, um, meaning that you'll be able to see the claw marks in the tracks. Um, and their heel pad is also very similar. Um, all canines will have a heel pad that has one lobe on the top of the heel pad and then two on the bottom. And then also coyote and dog tracks can be of a very similar size. Coyote tracks, sort of the magic number for length of a coyote track is two and a half inches. Um, but dog tracks can obviously be that size too, but they can also be anything from like less than an inch in length, something like a chihuahua, to you know more than four inches in length, something like a St. Bernard or a Great Dane. But there are actually more differences between coyote and dog tracks than there are similarities between them. Um, so first of all, we talked about how both of them will have claws, but the claws will look very different in the tracks. Um, so coyote claws are very um, sharp and not very prominent at all in the tracks. They almost show up like pinpricks if they show up at all. Um, and dog claws, on the other hand, will be really blunt, really round, really messy. Their claws are longer. Um, they're much more prominent in the track. And I've read that that is because coyotes spend so much more time um, traveling and so much more effort traveling throughout the day and the night, a given 24 hour period than a dog does, their feet just make contact with the substrate so much more that their nails are worn down and sharpened in that way, um, as opposed to a dog that spends most of its time laying on the couch. Um, but one of the best ways to tell coyote and dog tracks apart is the overall shape. So dogs are kind of messy with their tracks. Um, their, their toes are often splayed, especially the outer toes. Um, and their tracks are not necessarily symmetrical um, and they're very, there's a lot of negative space. Um, so the space that um, is between the toe pads and the heel pad. Um, so coyotes, on the other hand, their tracks are like a work of art. They're beautiful. Um, they're super tight, very oval or egg shape as opposed to the round shape of dogs, very oval or egg shape. Um, and their toes, all four of their toes point forward. There's not much splay at all um, in the outer toes, unless the coyote is walking on like a slippery surface or something where that would help it get purchased. But almost always the toes are very compact. And one of the best ways to tell a coyote or a dog track apart is because those coyote um, toes are so tightly together and the, the tracks are generally so symmetrical, the negative space between um, a coyote's toes and its heel pad make an X. Um, and that just really like pops out at you when you start um, after you know, you've seen a couple coyote tracks. Dog prints do not make an X at all. They're, the toes are way too splayed for that. The last great way to tell if it's a dog or a coyote track that you're looking at is not so much by looking at the track itself, but by looking at the trail that the animal left, the group of tracks, the whole path, the whole shebang. Um, and that's because Coyote tracks will be, or trails, sorry, will be very straight, very direct, 
Um, they really, you know, want to get where they're going. They don't wander around a lot. Um, and then coyotes also do a thing called direct registry, which basically just means that their hind foot on the same side lands in the same exact place that their front foot on that side just landed in. Um, and that's a way for them to conserve energy. It's basically like walking in the footsteps of somebody ahead of you when you're walking through the snow. Um, and so what that direct registering does is it basically makes a pattern like the coyote only has two feet. Um, so it's here, 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 sort of just like what a human trail would look like in terms of the pattern of the, of the tracks. Um, dog trails, on the other hand, tend to go all over the place. They wander, they zigzag. Um, and I mean, like picture a dog getting out of a car at a trailhead, right? Um, and so dogs don't, and, and in addition to their trails being all over the place, dogs don't bother so much with direct registry. And this all comes down to um, energy conservation. So a coyote really needs to conserve its energy, have a direct trail, practice direct registry, because it doesn't necessarily know where its next meal is coming from. It's kind of living on the edge there day to day in terms of um, where its calories are gonna come from. Um, and a dog, on the other hand, knows exactly where its dinner or lunch or whatever is gonna come from. Um, so it doesn't have to bother as much with energy conservation. And so that makes dog trails look much messier. Um, and there's, you know, tracks all over the place and the trail is not nearly as clean and straight. All right, so that is differences between dog and coyote tracks. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, I will probably be, hopefully this is just the first of a long series of tracking videos that I do this winter, because as I said, it's one of my favorite topics. And I think it's one of the best ways to get out and enjoy nature in the winter. Um, so look for those future videos and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.